Hold on. View ROMs. Oh, what's this? The Adventure of Toxic. Uh, run the Adventure of Toxic. Oh, we're playing your game now, Tox. My game? Yes, your game, because it's called The Adventure of Toxic. See? Written and developed oh. by Ducky. 7.4.2. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's an American version. Okay, I get it. You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking out the stars. Snow crunches beneath your feet. Your breath freezes your eyelashes. When you're not moving, it's very quiet. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or go right? Reminder, type help at any time for a list of commands. Let's go left. Go left, okay. Pondering deeply on your choice, you start down the left road. It starts going downhill. You try to step close... Uh, cliff, bleh, carefully! Oh my god, my words today. You see ahead is a small speck of light. As you get closer, you realise it's a lantern hung on a tree. Alright, what do you want to do, Tox? Ooh, go closer. Mm, let's see if it'll let me. There is no closer to go to. Ah, uh, oh, go ahead. All right, so hang on, let me see what the commands are in a sec, so we, uh, so we know what we can do. Ah, oh, there we go. There you go, Tox. Uh. So look at lantern. Look at lantern. It is hung by a hook nailed into the tree. Who knows who put this here for you? Smiley face. <laughs> take the lantern. Right, take, blah, take lantern. You take the lantern in your hand. You have light. Lantern added to inventory. Moving onward, you eventually come to a wall. There are two tunnels cut into it. One left and one right. You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. You see none on the left. Ooh. But if it was dark outside already, then the, if you see light, you would want to go away from it because that would mean other people and other people are scary at night. So go left. All right. You start going left. You realize this was a bad idea. You can't see anything. It's too dark. You start shivering. Will you go back? Uh, um. Oh, wait. Could we use, use lantern? lantern? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Use lan Ooh, lantern. Ah. You light the lantern and can see now. The tunnel is still very dark ahead. The walls look wet. Will you go back? No. You continue onward. You still see no light and the entrance is disappearing behind you. It's very, very cold. Will you go back? No. You took a different route to me when I played this. It's now completely dark behind you. The lantern is flickering. You don't want to go any further. Will you go back? I feel no. Like, I kind of feel like we're playing Faz, but like in text form. You continue forward. Oh wait, the this goes on for glitching some... a lot. <laughs> this, <laughs> this goes on for some time until you hear something strange and stop. You realise you aren't hearing only one pair of footsteps. There's another... There's something coming ahead of you, echoing off the walls. Your lantern goes out. You go back. You you leave the left tunnel and feel relieved. You are now at the tunnel entrance. Says You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. You see none on the left. He brought you back to the beginning. Go to the right. All right. <clears throat> After going through the right tunnel, you emerge onto the f front lawn of a house. You can see light in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Look at shed. Drab and tiny, the shed looks like it's been here much longer than the house. Look at playground. A pair of swings sway gently next to an old seesaw. That's all you can make out from here. Um, look at pond. Mm -hmm. A murky pond s sloshes quietly behind the house. You can see a small dock is there too. Um, what are the commands we can use again? I feel like an AI back here. <laughs> uh, 
So, um, look at house. The house looks brand new and more, much warmer than out here. You swear for a second there was something in the window looking back at you. Ooh. Go to shed. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You are now standing in front of the shed. You can tell it's dark inside. Use the lantern. You don't need to use the lantern right now. <laughs> Go into shed. You enter the shed. There are no windows. It's hard to see. You feel around and find a thing and a surprise. Oh. <gasps> Gas. Use lantern. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing pole leaning against the wall, a small chest in the far corner, and a trap door in the floor. Open the chest. Or we'll use chest. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm glad someone's reminded me of what commands to use. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Doll added to your inventory. Uh, take fishing pole. Why are you collecting strange dolls? And then look at trapdoor. Long grooves line the boards at the mouth of the door. Maybe someone dragged something down there. I, I mean, do we want to go down? <laughs> Open trapdoor. I'll take that as a yes. It swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend. The subterranean room is dimly lit but still too dark to see anything. Your lantern begins to flicker here. A pool chain in the end to, in the end, in the center of the room leads to an empty light socket. Um go to chain. The only way you can go is up the ladder. I suppose hold on. Let me try something. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. The trapdoor swings shut. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Your lantern flickers off. It's now totally dark in the room. A soft noise fills the space from somewhere near the walls. It sounds like nails tapping. Oh, I've got us killed, haven't I? Oh. You suddenly feel hands all over you. Rifling around, you try to push them away, but they're strong. The door swings back open and the room is lit again. There is nothing. You check your pockets. You discover a hand-drawn picture of a quote <laughs> sake what <laughs> what um i believe uh, i just got molested by a ghost and all they wanted to give me is a quokka picture um leave you're back outside the shed the door is still opened close the door oh you're polite i didn't close it I don't know the action clothes. Okay, never mind. Use door. You enter the shed. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Leave. Oh. What? Do we want to check what the surprise Leave. is? Well, what is the surprise? I, I thought the surprise was a chest. I think it's something else, actually. It's too dark to... Oh, hold on. Uh, look at sub. Will that work? There's no sub. Oh, okay. The game's dicking with us talks. All right, so we still have the location. So we have shed, playground, Go to house, lake. playground. Okay. Go to playground. You make note of the shed and head over to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Seeing on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Aww, poor doll. Um, look at doll. It's wearing a pretty blue dress. I like blue. Blue's Eight my favorite. doll. You try, but as you tug, you realise the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Aw, poor doll. Use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. <laughs> okay. Take doll. 
You try, but as you tug, you realise the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Okay, so I think, I guess both are stuck now? Um. Go to Seesaw. You are already near the Seesaw. Use the Seesaw. Approaching the Seesaw, it doesn't look like anyone's used it for years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corner of your eyes. You take a seat on the seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Oh, Tox, that, that was the light we should have used earlier. <laughs> oh, well. You swing? You would, but both seats are taken. Yeah, the dolls are you sitting on the swings, I guess. Uh, go to sandbox. I'm glad you remember. You're already near the sandbox. Look at sandbox. I suppose like we're kind of like in the middle of the playground. It's just a dirty box of sand. The sand looks damp. Why is the sand damp? Use sandbox. Oh, that sounds gross. You begin moving around the muck of the sandbox and try to make a castle. You just get sad that it's not as good as the house. As you dig, you feel something. You put it out and shake off the muck. It's a bulb. Who would play with this? Okay. Go to house. No, go to pond, actually. Okay. You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. It must be a thank you. Uh, okay, as you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. Planks creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Use fishing pole. Why would you smile at evil children? You cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard. Ah, oh, so we've got two keys now. Kill duck. You want to kill the duck? Yeah. No, hold on, let me see what happens to your turn up. I don't know the action kill. Okay, so at least we know that Buddy's not going to kill us. Use stops. pond. Use pond, okay. You don't have a pond to use. <laughs> go to house. Alright, go to house. You take another look at the murky water, then head to the house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. So, wait, we're not okay? Alright, or use key. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll take just a little longer to get inside. Hold on. Use key. Whoops, haha. <laughs> you didn't see the chain that wrapped around the door, which has a lock too. You feel like this should be the last one, for sure. Probably. Okay, so... We... Uh, so we only had two keys. I... Maybe there's one in the shed we missed somehow? Uh... Go to shed. You step off the porch, make note, then head to the shed. Approaching the shed, you see that door is slightly open already. Okay, so it's the same as before. Alright, um, go inside. Go, sh yeah, go inside. Yeah. Light fills a tiny room. You can see a trapdoor in the floor. Uh, Use trapdoor. So, no pulling the chain, I'm guessing. <laughs> Empty light socket. I use bulb. The bulb squeaks as you screw it into the socket the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off of it and gets into your mouth. Yeah. Pull chain. Yeah. Oh, use chain rubber. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the walls. They look like tallies. A wall covered in an orange liquid somehow suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There also sits a strange drawing on a wall and a glass case. Something shiny catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved on the front of it. Hmm. 
Um, okay, go to cabinet. You already knew the cabinet. Use cabinet. You try opening all of the cabinet drawers, but they are all seem they all seem to be damaged or locked. Um, use bones. You politely move aside a femur, skull, and pelvis in order to find a skeletal hand. It shakes your hand like a familiar friend. <laughs> what? You notice an interesting looking ring on one of its fingers. You take the ring off the skeletal hand. That's not good. No, no, that isn't good. Um look at drawing you press your hand on the drawing in hopes of something to happen after stepping back you realize how pointless of an idea that was suddenly your entire body is frozen um tox are you hearing this no i'm hearing static you're Hold paralyzed on, with fear as the drawing seems enough. to come to life and speak to you if you want to leave with your life, answer me. Oh, yeah, riddle. okay, hear it. You can have me, but Wait. you cannot hold me. Gain me and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great, and if betrayed, I will break. What am I? Trust. An audible click is heard on the old cabinet. You are no longer frozen. <laughs> I didn't like the static noise. Um, use cabinet. You open the last functional drawer only to find a singular ring. You take it. So we have two rings now. Yes. So. Uh. Ooh, go and put the use rings on box or something like that. Because of the box of the floor. Hold on, use, use ring. Oh, sorry. You walk over to the glass case and place the ring into the first slot. Oh, yeah, I'll do it twice. I forgot about it. Use that. ring? Yeah. You place the ring into the second slot. The, the ceiling of the glass case pops open, revealing the key inside. Take the key. You take the key from the case. I wonder what would happen if Leave. we... Leave. I wonder what would happen if we didn't type trust, if we typed something else. Would we have been dead? Probably. Uh, Leave. Yeah. We want to go to the house. Go right? to the house. No, right, so use key. That should be the last one now. The use door key. clicks. It's unlocked. Um, go inside. And go in. Yeah. yeah. You push open the door. I don't like how slow that's going now. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Um. Everything is dark. Um, buddy? Ducky? Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, Ducky! Ducky? Oh, oh, I can, I can move it. Oh. What, what? Oh, okay, let's go all the way to the right. Wait, who said that? Um, I guess that's Ducky. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do. But in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Toxic. <laughs> oh, Toxic is in the room now. Top right. Let's check in the cabinet there. This seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer. Okay. The bed looks uh, so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Oh, don't. I'm actually really tired today. That flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. Nothing. Oh, okay. Small scratches draw their own patterns on the wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. This chair seems comfortable. It's probably it probably has great back support. Oh, uh, okay, that's the same as. I don't think there's anything else we can look in the room. Can we look at the rug? No. 
taquito room. Oh. Oh, so, oh. That chair just manifest. Oh. Good morning, Toxic. What a beautiful winter day it is outside. But before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. Okay, let's see what else is. Um, the glossy metal exterior looks so nice and new. There is a small lonesome magnet near the freezer handle. Inside of the frame is a picture of you and Ducky. Um, don't you two look so happy together? <laughs> okay. Ducky's breakfast added to inventory. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you like. Alright then, on to adventure. Do you want to eat it now or save it for later, Tox? Save it for later. Alright. Is, is that a nine? It's still a little warm from breakfast. Careful not to burn yourself. The sink looks nice, but it smells like pond water. Oh, lovely. Is that a bin? It is perfectly sized for you. Excuse you? You could probably get inside if you want to. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want to go inside. You immediately feel the warmth hit you like a warm hug from a friend. The house feels cosy. The chair looks incredibly comfy. The excitement of adventure keeps you from sitting down. Um, okay. I'm a little creeped out now. Oh! Welcome to the new outside world, Toxic. Feel free to wander around. Also, I heard there were some fun opportunities for adventure happening acro uh, across the pond up north. I think that's where we should go. Oh, I almost forgot. Not that you would ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use the escape key to open the pause menu. I'll remember exactly where we left off. Alright, let's get going. Oh my god, the, the movement screen is like, oh my god, it's like an old TV. Okay, so this is the pond. Oh, wow. Traverse the pond? What do you want to do, Tox? Here. To the north we go! Um, well, that's odd. I thought it was supposed to be in the boat. You don't have a paddle by any chance, do you? Uh, just another excuse for exploring, I suppose. Let's go find a paddle. <laughs> so, so what, what are you thinking of this game, Tox? It's cute. You'd I like thought it was supposed to be a horror. I mean, he's very, um... You vaguely remember the shed, but it's, now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. I mean, it, it kind of is. I mean, they're very attached to you already, Tox. Shouldn't you be concerned about that? I find it adorable. The doll's chest is still ripped open, exposing a rust-coloured cotton where you're certain a key used to be. Although life isn't stuffed with cotton, you can't help but think she looks thankful for something you did. I'm, I'm sad I can't sit on any of these. Hang on. Dark and vicious mixed with the sand. It still looks quite fun to play in though. Uh, I remember getting stuck when I first tried this on my own. Because you do have to find a, sh a shovel when it is outside. I can't remember where though. Let's see. Oh, Tox, this is the tunnel you made us go down earlier. I don't think we should be in here. It's too dark to see anyway. Just walk right to leave the tunnel. What do you want to do, Tox? Uh -huh. Left? Okay. You won't be able to see where you're going without any light. Let's just forget about this area. Oh. I actually used up. Lantern. You turn on the lantern. Hey! Wow, it's really dark in here. It's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. Haha. <laughs> okay, we've had our fun here. Let's go. Uh, Toxic, we should leave. I don't think we should be here. Please turn around. Oh. Um, that's... Yeah, that's supposed to be here. Good job on finding it, Toxic. 
I, I can't do it. Talk, what's that? Talkie! There's an animal. Wait, wait, let's get back to the pond, please. It's a doggy. Oh my god, it's Sally! It's Sally! Okay, let, let's go then. Oh, Sally's following us. Okay. You still following? No? Okay. Wait. Oh, oh okay. You, you're kind of following. To be honest, the fact that there's no music in here is kind of creepy. Like, if you play a game, most of the time you're going to hear music. But you don't hear music here. Okay, so we have Le Paddle. You scared the shit out of me. Oh, are you following? Oh, okay, don't follow them. Oh. <laughs> I, I guess we have a pet now, uh, Tox. Nice. Oh, there's a shovel here. You take the shovel. Shovel edit. Can, can, hold on. Is there a way to... You dig and find nothing. Okay. I don't think there's anything you can find with a shovel here, but I might be wrong. What the fuck? Um, okay. Examine the left skull. Oh. Yes, sir. Will you use your eyes? Yes? You pull out your eyes and give them to the skull. Um. Uh, um. Okay, I have no eyes. Um, okay. If you throw a coin in, I'm sure your wish will come true. We don't have any coins. No, we don't. Come on, Take Sally. Sally's eyes. You want me to take Sally's eyes? No, you can only pet the you can only pet Sally. What are you trying to do, Tox? You can't hurt Sally. Oh, where's the boat? Know. Oh no, there's the boat. Alright, let's see if we can go now. Tox, you're horrible. Why would you hurt Sally? You can leave that silly quoker here. It probably won't fit on the boat anyways. Uh what? Oh, well, to the north, I guess. I heard there's some really cool stuff this way. Are you as excited as I am? Oh, I didn't realize it's an option. That's good to hear. Oh, and one more thing. I added an action that I like to call the buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press the B button and I'll talk to you. Okay, I think we're almost there. Loading the north. Um. Ducky? Okay. What the hell is that thing? We have arrived. Welcome to north. Oh, also, if you're ever feeling homesick, you can use the boat again to go back. Alright then, enough chatter. Let's get going. Okay, everything from here is new because I don't remember. What is this? We should go over and talk to him. Oh, well, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you could help me out? I lost my hand. <laughs> I lost my hand a bit ago. It just took off and didn't come back. Hands are so creepy, aren't they? I see you have a fishing pole. Go ahead and cast a line in the pond and see what you can find. Um, uh, okay. This is, okay. You cast a line. I thought I saw a tug there. You should try again. Right. Nope, wrong one. Ah, buttons. You cast a line. So how do you find out? Oh, for goodness sake, so you got to go after that bit. Oh. No, I don't want to use the breakfast. You cast another line. Sadly, you find nothing. Keep trying. I know it's somewhere. Oh, my days. Can you, can you not? There we go. You cast a line. Suddenly, your fishing pole is pulled into water. Something flies out of the pond and lands in front of you. It's a severed hand. One of the fingers twitches. Hand edits in. Oh, lovely. 
Wait, could it be? Oh, his name's Dundee. My goodness, yes, my hand. Oh, how I have missed you. I can finally fish again. That is creepy. I'm gonna call that thing, because clear daddy, that's a thing. Oh. Oh. I guess it likes you better. Well, alright then. But maybe keep an eye out for an extra left hand. Ah, uh, I see some sort of sound played after you helped me out. That probably means you finished my quest. Well, dang it. Talks. Talks. Mm. Very nice. Uh, would you like? Hello. A, would you like an extra left hand? No, he's not having my left hand. No, we we have an extra left hand. Do you want it? Uh, no. Oh, Sally. Oh. Sally ran away. Wait, is that a gorilla or is that a person wearing a black bra? I can't tell. Well, hello there, adventurer. You, Sally, what are you doing? You must have travelled quite a ways to get here. How brave you must be. I have been waiting your arrival for some time now. You see, we have many folk who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, friendo, follow me to my home and I shall tell you more. I have no choice. It's just automatically following. Why is it so slow? Oh my god, it's like that old Pokemon thing where you have to follow this guy around to learn how to use the stuff around town. Sally, are you enjoying yourself there? There's a duck back there. Oh my god, why is it so slow? We have arrived. So, where were we? I don't like your smile. Ah uh, yes, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tortley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home to many humble folk. Many are in dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Please speak to me as soon as you can. You know what? You know what, Tox? We can leave him on read because I think that's all we've got time for. Okay. What do you reckon of the game, though? Very cute. I think, Very nice, I, yeah. I still think it's creepy and Sally's running around like a lunatic again. Leave, Leave Sally alone. She's living her best life. life. You're the one who wants to steal the dog's eyes. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. She wouldn't be running around, would she? You know what? Ah, uh, you know that's what, what I thought. You know what? That's you know what? 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 Thank you so, so much, developers, for allowing us to play Buddy Simulator 1984. Um, you want to play these games, you better be ready to win these prizes. Tox, what prizes? What? No one told me about prizes. The prize of me being disappointed, okay. If you would like to get more reviews from my darling Tox here, be sure okay, to cool. let us know in the comments below. Because Tox absolutely loves playing these strange, quir quirky games. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>